in class. Oh, another good lesson for today. So I have retrieved some of the most interesting. I have happened to have found some chef coats, which I have commandeered from a upstart with the name of <coughs> Logan. Wonder who this could be. But I will be doing the history of the chef coat. Those are articles, that are uh, actually more like uh, artifacts. Now. To begin with the history of the chef coat, we go back to the history of the chef himself. And as long as we can remember, when people to prepare the food. Now, originally there were a pair of chef pants that were uh, actually of a houndstooth pattern. And they were made with a simple snap and uh, maybe like a little zip and so that they could be thrown off in the event of they catch fire, or you spill something on them, or some other problem. Because, as you know, from the culinary world, there could be plenty of danger with sharp, sharp, hot objects. And they're also heavy. There was also the apron, but that's been around basically forever. Now, with the creation of the chef coat, which was actually made in France in, I believe, 16-something, it actually is this really interesting double-breasted coat. So you see there's these two breasts, and then you kind of loop one that goes this way, and the other goes that way. And um, it goes like that, so that if you spill something on it, there's two layers of protection, and it's made of like this nice fabric. Now the original chef coat was made of a hound's tooth pattern also, to try and hide and minimize stains. The white chef coat was originally made for bakers who would get flour on them and it would obviously hide it because it's white. But <clears throat> the, the invention of the piping and the uh, hierarchy and brigade system, the kitchen has this whole brigade system of you have the executive chef, then you have like the chef de cuisine, then you have like the sauce chef, the grill chef, the fish chef, the cold prep chef, the butcher chef. And finally, finally, the pastry chef, which I, Ulysses T. Cook, happen to enjoy the most. They make delicious pastries. One of them went. Also, the chef hat and the height of the hat is another thing, that the higher the hat, the higher the rank of the chef. And also, the pleats in the hat, there are supposed to be 101 pleats, one for every way a chef can make eggs. Now, I believe that some of you only have one pleat. That's for scrambled eggs. Or burned eggs. But, <laughs> that is a little bit of the origin behind the chef hat. Now, also back to the chef coat. Uh, let's see, where was I? Ah, yes. Another good feature about this double-breasted chef coat is that you can have one side that you cook with. So you can cook with one side so that you get spills like right here and then there's a special term which is called like a changing the lady or something where you swap it to the other side so that it looks clean. You see now it appears clean and even though you've been working when you go out to greet diners and other customers you can appear very clean. Now that is the classic original chef coat. Now this chef coat, which happens to be, I believe one of this Logan guy's favorites, has a zipper, which is a kind of a new thing and really kind of fancy. It's got like these snaps and stuff. Weird. Most queer. But uh, that pretty much sums up our lesson. Uh, lessons. Can you Wow. <laughs> <laughs>